What's going on guys? Brian from Fitz Fish Ponds and today I'm going to show you some of the rarest tosai in the world. Come with me. Alright guys, so a few months ago I was over in Japan and I was lucky enough to find some golden corns from Taniguchi Koi Farm and some shiro tsuri from Omasako. So really cool stuff and exciting fish to get back here in New Jersey. Uh, we only have a small amount and we've actually listed all of these koi on our website individually. So click the link right below me. Everythingkoi.com is where we sell our fish. So go online, check these out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna bowl a few of these beautiful golden corns up and take a look at them. They're stunning and their fish are only four or five months old. So really cool to look at. But guys, come over to the tank and check this out. So here we have some shiro itsuris and some golden corns in the same bowl. It gives you a nice contrast, but right now these fish are still developing. So you've seen the picture of the giant golden corn with the oranges on the scale, and it actually looks like corn on the cob. That's where it got its name. But these fish are right now, they're just so young and there's so much potential. It's a great opportunity to get some really, really good tosai at a great price and give you a chance to grow up your own golden corn in your pond. And these shiros are really cool. The black's almost like painted on with like an ink brush. Um, some are a finished look where you're gonna get this a shiro here where the sumi's really, really heavy and the fish, the black's almost taking over the fish. And when you're buying this fish, you're really just hoping that the blacks kind of stay in that spot and not expand. On the other side, we have like an unfinished shiro which is like a traditional omasako style where you're gonna hope that black on the fish comes out. So if you look here on the koi, the, the sumi almost looks like a dark blue where we're hoping that comes out on the fish in the future. We'll get the shiros out. I'll leave the, the two different corns in this bowl and then we'll catch some more and we'll see what they look like and we can compare. A lot of our customers will buy one koi that looks like this and another one that looks like this and it's really cool to see as these koi develop how they change um, what the breeder was looking for when he developed the golden koi bloodline. So definitely an awesome koi to see at this size and then what it looks like once it's like two feet long and how it's developed over the years. So if you guys don't have a golden corn in your pond, definitely give one of these a shot. Um, I would give two or three a, a shot and uh, really see how they develop and change throughout the year. All right, so same thing here. I'm gonna catch a few of the different style Shiro Tsuris that we have. And we can give you guys a close look. And when you're online looking at them, you can decide what you like the best and gives you a chance to see them swimming around in a bowl. This is my only my second time taking a real close look at these koi and they're really, they're really good looking guys. I mean, I'm super happy with the quality. Uh, Shiro Tsuri is a really hard koi to breed and Omasako does the best job. So some are unfinished as you look like a koi like this. The head pattern is finished on it, but the head looks really cool on this koi. Uh, a lot of people love the head pattern of fish and that's why they buy them. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen with this fish. You can see the sumi starting to come out on it, but you don't know. And it's cool to take a chance on them, uh, depending on your water parameters, what food you feed. It all depends on how these fish are going to turn out in your pond. Uh, but really cool. Some little guys there, the two-step. Some have a little uh, fukarin in their scales, like a little ginrin there. But all around, a great fish. I mean, I would be... I love that one there. I think it just has, like, some nice black pepper through the rest of its body has a chance to get really cool looking um, and it comes down to the personal preference of these fish and what you think they're going to develop into. But Shiro Tsuri is from Omasako Koi Farm in Japan. Uh, definitely don't want to miss these koi before they're gone. We only have a few so check them out guys. Really cool to see. We have tons of fish here. These are all individually photographed and a few of them are on the lots on the website. So take a look, see what fish you like the best and definitely try one of these out. Some of the rarest tosai though, in the US, hard to get, 
and we're happy to have them here for you guys and we appreciate all the business and checking out the website and the videos. Thank you.